Just a man on a mission, ambition to never fail. Personality electric, he is animated male. Intelligent and wise, calm and often cool. Chris James giving opinions while also speaking the truth. Empathy and compassion. Stephen Michael is here, helping you through your traumas, helping you with your fears. These three forces combine and keep it honest. Turn up the volume, cause this is the application of knowledge. After pleasantry. Hey, welcome to Application Knowledge Podcast. Yeah, baby. Hope you're having a beautiful day. This is gonna be a short one, so we go. This to this get... episode is gonna be concise. Yeah, you know I mean, and so, jam packed. So we're gonna try to get to it as quickly as possible. But to give you a little synopsis, first off, I want to say shout out to Pearly Things. Yeah, you know I mean, she got her million subs. You feel? I me? mean, it's it was it's it was it was inevitable. inevitable. Yeah. She got it in eleven months. Wow. Yeah, you know I mean, she started February. I'm... I mean, that makes sense. 27th Her, of t- 2022. She started at the peak of, of Kevin, Kevin Samuel's content. I didn't realize that she was actually on Kevin Samuel's, like she called into the show yeah. at one is point. That Kevin put she, her through the is ringer. Is that how she got to her, like... No, but she did a she did a video talking about it, and I'm sure that got her some views. Mm. Well, no, this don't take nothing away from Pearly Things. She saw an no, opportunity, no, 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 no. and she took advantage of it. And and being in that space mm-hmm. as a woman, mm-hmm. as uh, a white woman, as a white woman, it's just like th- you're not supposed to be having these conversations. No, you know what I'm saying to like really be on men's side, and it's refreshing. So how do y'all feel about pearly things? We know how it you. Didn't, it didn't. That didn't. <laughs> Steve said that wasn't the answer. That wasn't the answer. So you you felt like you, I like her. You like you like her. Okay. Yeah, I know I like her. Like. I would date her. No, not me, Steven. <laughs> Mel too. Mel would. Date I mean, I, I, I think, I, I think, I would date Pearly. I, I would. I wouldn't date Pearly thing. Well, I could see that. I mean, because she, she's like okay. the opposite of, of what you like, basically. Yeah, I mean, it's not. I mean, she's tall. Preference. She's tall. Yeah, but when you're tall, you gotta be. Yeah, you know purport- I'm gotta purport- I, I, I don't think that she's. I, I see. For me, I just said this earlier today to somebody. I was like, "Hey, man, you give me a solid." I've said this before. You give me a solid five or six with, with a great personality, I'll, I'll fall in love. She seems like she has a really cool personality. Down to earth. She speaks her mind. Uh, she's someone to me that comes off like if, if I was dating her, she would be supportive. She would be like, hey, go do this. I'll help you do that. Like, I think she would have an issue with submission. I don't think so. I think she talks about it and it sounds real good. But I think she would have an issue with submission. I think that she's going to learn how to be better as a as a wife and not have that issue. But I think if you were to date her right now, I think she would have that issue. Interesting. It's just a, it's just a vibration. I don't I don't have nothing to back it up. I I, th- I think that the what she portrays is I mean she she has said uh, she was well, number one she's a boss uh, technically a legitimate boss. I mean she has ten employees um, and she has said like. I actually hire people to work above me because I prefer to actually be told what to do in certain situations. Really? Yeah, she said that. Like, so she, like, now obviously she's still the owner of her channel, you know what I mean, whatever, whatever, whatever. But there are people above her that make decisions about the channel that she does not make simply now, not as an underling, right. but because she said, I prefer not to make large decisions like that. It's just, it's not, it's, it's easier for me to hire someone to do that. Yeah. I, I understand that. I know the the people that, that she brings on the show, she doesn't choose them. So I know okay. that's one example. Um, she delegates. She does a lot of delegating. You know, she focuses on creating the content and she delegates for everyone to, you know, put it out. Like her thumbnails and all that stuff. You know? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, you have to. Yeah. But I mean, I think for for me, it was just the fact that she like saying that she purposefully wants people above her. Um, Is she the only like woman that speaks <sighs> this? I guess ha- has a voice like red pilled. Yeah. No. Is she like the only woman? No, Melanie King does. Okay. I'm not. I've never heard of her. She has. She has a decent following. Um, I don't know about her following. I'm not really. I'm not really a big fan of her content. But uh, I, there's nothing wrong with her. I just personally, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of her pro. Mm, yeah. I don't have. I don't have a problem with either contest. I, I'm congratulations, kudos. I just. I don't watch their stuff like that. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, I respect it. Uh, yeah, I, I rock with pro because it's kind of trashy. 
Well, Pearl's, really? Pearl's, Pearl's stuff is kind of trashy. Trashy? She, what she, do you mean? She, okay, let's say this. She focuses on entertainment value. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's not, it is not something that puts education over entertainment. She will put entertainment over that's, education. Don't, don't worry about that. And, and, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? And it's not I don't, it's not that I don't re- I get it. I respect it. It's just not what I watch. I like I like education over well, everything. There's, okay, but there's there's tons of information in there. Sure. But okay. it's re- it's repetitive. It's not like watching Kevin's show. I, I, no one is like Kevin. Right, but there's people similar that educate. Okay. Right. And teach. It's it's a it's a it's a um it's the highest priority. Yeah, recently she had a she had a guest on one of the biggest guests in the world. <laughs> you know, she had a guest. She had a guest. On. One of the biggest guests in the world. He, she, she probably guess who? Probably guess. The, one of the toppest of all. One of the one of the, the, one of the toppest <laughs> of the all toppest people. Guests. Uh, uh, top one, top guest. One of the toppest of all. Top guest. Yeah, top guest. Top, top guest. guest. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean top G. Top, top G. Yeah, you know I mean she had, he, she had him on the show, and now she also had him on the show with like Brittany Renner. And then you know two other chicks and Auntie and all that stuff. He's, have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I haven't. I didn't. I have not. I have literally seen so many clips of that. I just I have not watched the whole like, hour and a half or whatever. I watched like, it. Gotcha. So you watched the entire thing? Mm-hmm. Cool. Same I mean, he's smart. Top G. Them, top G. I watched it yeah. twice. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. I because I watched it when it first like premiered, but I, then I didn't want. I didn't How long was the video? Like three, almost a little bit over three hours. Wow. Yeah, I watched okay, it. Okay, I need to watch the whole thing then because yeah. I haven't seen that much. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice little, nice little interaction and nice little conversation. And so there was a few um, clips that I want to, you know, have us go over and look at. And like I combined it, so it'll probably be like a seven minute clip. But you know, we can talk and stop at particular points that we, you know. Let's get into it, bro. That highlights. Let's get into the topics of the top G. Okay. Did you already get it set up? Because I wanted to say he something. Cute you. Oh, no, go ahead. Do you oh, cute. So, uh, so interestingly enough, and I don't know if you guys know this, but there was a uh, there was Tristan and uh, Andrew were having a conversation. He asked Andrew, he's like, "What does top G mean?" <laughs> have you guys seen that? No. Yeah. Oh, you have. Okay. So, because uh, I was just like, you know, because I don't, re- I didn't really know. People ask, and I don't think he's ever answered it. So Tristan was like, "Hey, what is top top G?" Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and then Andrew just he just he lit up like you know he just turned on that superpower. He started using some words, and I'm like, I don't even know what these words mean. Um, but he ba- perspicacious. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's like, one of his favorite words. I mean, he he what he basically said was is that I am at a level that no matter what. I am going to be at the top of anything I do. So if he was like, if you, if you, uh, if somebody was like, oh, you have to race Andrew in, in a in a supercar race. Damn, I got to race Andrew. You you have to fight Andrew in a boxing match. Damn, I got to fight Andrew. Right? You got to play co- competitive video games against Andrew. Damn, I got to fight Andrew. He was like, even if I have never done this before, uh-huh. even if I have never done this before, I will still be the top at it. It's just how he operates. So I thought that was really, I thought it was like really, uh, really cool and just a uh, a great way of thinking uh, about yourself. Mm. I agree. Let's get into this video. Every time a court rules in favor of a chick having hundred thousand dollars a month, that puts men off to a level. Like it's fine if there was a, a baseline child support, thousand dollars a month, two thousand dollars a month. That's if you have a kid, baseline, regardless of income. If your man wants to give you more, he does. If he yeah. doesn't, whatever, whatever. But when you come along and start saying this percent of a man's income, do you have any idea how scary that is to a man who works for his money? He works for his money. And do you know why it's scary? It's not just because he's giving his money away. It's because he knows he isn't giving money to the kid. Yeah. The kid, you can raise a kid on 500 bucks a month in most of the world. Mm-hmm. You, got, you want that kid in Gucci, you in Gucci, you in a nice car, going on dates with another dude with my money. You can, I'd rather burn the fucking house down than give, to give it to you under they those five circumstances. No, I, just, I, just, I, I, love, I love that part because Britney's right there. Right. It, that's that's like the, the perfect one who needs to hear that type of uh, rhetoric, especially yeah. when it comes to people dating women or dating men, women dating men for their money and using their child as a leeway to basically basically abuse the child support system and just take half their goods. So, like, I saw that. What, what are you guys' thoughts about what he said about the uh, – what he said there? 
Okay. Well, uh, I think that uh, well, uh, it's Top G. Yeah. I mean, he, he he really when he's not in character, um, when he's speaking on topics that are you know relevant, and he's not just talking, he's always on point. Mm-hmm. And the, the the reality is that um, the system is broken, right? And the reason why men don't want to take care of their children is not because every man's just a deadbeat. And if we don't if we don't if we don't stop just trying to make it seem like men just don't give a f about their children and their family, we're never going to solve this problem. Uh, money's definitely not going to solve a problem because a child doesn't care about money. Yeah. A child wants time. So the money has never really... I know people are going to be mad, but you got to also understand, I come from a single parent house household, so I know what I'm talking about. Uh, we, we... I can't... I don't think we were getting child support. I don't think we ever got child support. Our dad still supported us. But I didn't want his money. I wanted his time. I wanted time with my dad. Yeah. So... Um, yeah, the money thing is just a small thing. Yeah, five hundred dollars for a child. Yeah, that's more than enough. But if you have a certain, see, the thing is, you have a certain lifestyle, and you think, well, I have a child now, and this child has to have the same lifestyle. But the reality is, that's not child support. That's like luxury child support. It, that really falls under alimony. It which should is, fall which under is, alimony, which is maintaining the lifestyle that you have provided for a period of time. Very good point. Um, as as I mean, I I obviously agree, and the interesting thing is that recently Delaware has been the first state mm. that has actually, um, I don't know if it's already in play, but it was just like maybe a week and a half ago they have they have stated that they are now going to be changing uh, the the child support law to where now they're going to be testing a child support card. Mm-hmm. So the child support will obviously goes to the state and you pay the state, and then the money will get loaded onto a card. And then you can only be allowed to buy certain items. Now, obviously, those items are going to be there's going to be a very wide I'm spread sure. amount of I'm items sure. you can buy, and it's not going to be a perfect system. But you're not going to be able to just take you know the you know cash out. You won't be able to go and pay it like salons, and you know you won't be able to like just pay your rent with it, things like that. Mm. Um, which you know, I you know there's there's I have well my, well let's be let's be honest. You you're a person, an adult that has to live somewhere, right? So yeah. you're gonna have a place to live, right? I mean, it's kind of it kind of gets a little bit ridiculous. It's like, is this child support or is it child lifestyle? Like you paying for the child's lifestyle? Yeah. Is it supporting the child or is it like providing everything for the child? I, like if you have if you hit tough times, completely understandable. Um, but if you are in a position t- to where you have the child full time and you fought me in court for this then you need to be able to then fully support the child on your own. And then what I give you is going to be addition to already supporting a a stable. Correct. Right. It it is not supposed to be to make up for the shortcomings of, of what, what you, you know, where you're at. That would mean that you need to do better as, as a parent, right? Your side. So you, I am giving you finances based upon, the time that I have with them and what was established based upon you taking me to court and this is what you get. So um, I, I, I like the idea of the card and of course there's going to be some kinks to work out with that, but mm-hmm. all right. So um, just more second thing I'll actually sit here and argue the point that I don't think any man really ever wants to get married. I think that women convince him to get married And I think that any woman who is genuinely serious about convincing her man to get married could do it. I don't think, in the modern world at least, men wake up and go, can't wait to get married. But what they do is they get a chick who's so good and ticks so many boxes and makes them so happy, and she'll sit there and say, you know what? It would mean the world to me. Please. And he'll go, for fuck's sake, all right. And that's what happens. So I still think you can convince 99.9% of men to marry. The point I was making is, the society, society isn't convincing the man to, to, to marry you. It's not like it used to be where the man believed he had to be married. Society's done the opposite. So it's your job as a woman to make it clear to him that it is worthwhile. Once again, how would you convince Sounds a man like it's worthwhile for him to say, that's my wife? Status. That's how you do it. This is the under, a misunderstood hack to, to men as a whole, is status. If you can say, if you can convince that man but by marrying you, his status will increase amongst his peers. He's going to do it. And for anyone out here who disagrees with me, the things men do for status, let's actually analyze how baseline men are. What is status? Status is respect, right? 
Men kill over respect. Men, gangs kill each other over respect. A man will smash another man's face in for insulting him. We will die for respect and status. You tell me we won't get married? We'll die for her. <laughs> we'll go to the front line of a war, and the only reason we don't walk away and abandon our post as artillery shells let rain is because we're afraid of being mocked for being a coward. We'll die for status. So status is what it's all about. It's what it's always been about. If you want a man to marry you, status. And it's the same thing with nearly anything you want to do with a man. Okay, he said a lot there in that particular clip, but one thing that stood out to me that that I, was the the fact when he was talking about marriage. When you're younger, when you're a child, have you all thought about like, man, I can't wait to get married? Like, you ever like fantasize your wedding or anything like that? You know. <laughs> Picking the right ring, thinking about the right moment, the right way to propose. Y'all never did any. Have y'all? Have you all ever thought about that? You know, as it pertains, to, you know, to your interest in women or just in general. I have. As as what as I age? was younger, before twenty one. So when I got my first heartbreak uh, in college, my girlfriend cheated on me. We were, you know, we were in, we were in choir, and my uh, I was a bass. He's a bass, and he was two chairs. He was two seats lower than me, so I was a better bass than him. Uh, and she cheated on me with him with the lesser bass, with the lesser bass, mm. right? And I was a freshman. He was a senior. Mm. I was killing him, killing him. Um, and um, and then from there, I said, "Oh, y'all ain't shit." Like, and it literally destroyed that vision of I want to go get married. I want to, you know, what I'm saying the 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 dis, the, the Disney thought process the, that, the disney training yeah and then after that point it was just like i mean if it happens it happens you know what i'm saying like i'm not i'm not looking for oh, i'm looking for a wife anymore so oh man yeah i mean it, you know hey man experience happens life happens and Bro, it that's changes literally like how like movies you're yeah. like the character in the movie who just didn't get the girl you know and then you that's get, andrew tate's story and then the one i got <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, well, let me take responsibility the one I picked. I mean, the one you uh, chose. Yeah. Uh, take responsibility for that. Um, how about you? You ever fantasize? Absolutely on... not. <laughs> now, I never spent one. Really? N- not one brain you cell. You never were like, dang, man, I can't find this girl. I can't wait. And then, you know, she's going to walk down the aisle. I'm going to be teary-eyed. Like, really? Never. Not one millisecond. I've... When you when Mel asked that question, I was like, that's a really good question. No, no, I've never thought about that. Not even no, couldn't care less. the The only thing that I thought about was being married, okay, and having children, okay. But as far as like how I was gonna propose and the ring I want to buy and how it's gonna look and the venue and the one, no, not never. Yeah, I've never, I've never had that fantasy or thought or anything. Kind of hope it's romantic. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you are. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. No, I. Just, it's just. Commonly, I don't think guys fantasize about a wedding. So when he made that point of, like, guys don't be like, you know, oh, I can't wait to get married. Like, they'll get married because the woman wants to get mm, married. You're, yeah. you're primarily doing it for the woman. You, no guy wants to do it, especially with the laws and stuff that goes into it, you know? Um, so that's why, I, 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 like, I, I thought back, like, granted, there's women that's like, oh, man, I can see myself spending the rest of my life with, but never thinking about the fantasy of, like, oh, man, we're going to get this. Da, 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 da. Right. I, I you never thought about the colors that you, when you were thinking about marriage, you never were like. I, I've never, like, I would, I would, I would be lying if I said I didn't, if I wasn't with a woman and we, we didn't have discussion. If we had okay. discussions about it. You know, then we would talk about different things, and because like I've always said, if that happened, I would uh, play Michael Jackson. What's that? The the when he's do 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 the way you make me feel like that. That would be like the you know you know people be slow dancing. Well, I guess people wouldn't be crying at your wedding because that's like a high energy. <laughs> exactly, I don't yeah. want motherfuckers crying. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm an emotional dude, so like, I, don't I cry. actually wouldn't mind seeing you cry at your wedding. That actually make my day. <laughs> I I would I feel like something would yeah. be weird if you didn't. 
Yeah. Like you would be the guy at Straight the altar, face. like you're and you're and you're broken up, like as she comes Mel's down gonna, the aisle. Because it's like you don't see Mel break up that much. You don't see that type of emotion from him. So that would be like the one time that you get to see it. Man, I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah. yeah. So what did you all, all also think about what he said about the the status part? It's true. I mean, the, it, it just like like recently because you know I've been back in the dating world. And one of the things, because women be like, well, what do you like? Da, 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 right? And I give them all these things that I like. And one of the things I always say is, is like, girl, I, I don't I don't want a girl who's doing OnlyFans. I don't want a girl that is twerking on her Instagram. Um, I like a woman who is conservative in her appearance. Yeah. Not necessarily like political views, because I say conservative, you got to be, you know, whatever. <laughs> well, yeah. that too, though. But I'm specifically talking about appearance. And, and the reason for that is because of who I am, I have public visibility, right? We all have public visibility. And you and the woman that I'm looking for is an extension of me. Mm. So status, status, I said it like top G. Status. It, it is, um, it's important. Like, I don't want someone that I'm with in, in, in you know, as a dancer or she's doing OnlyFans or anything and then someone looking at me and be like, bro, why would you let your girl do that? Or yeah. why would you be with a girl like that, right? I want people to respect me, mm-hmm. which I present myself in a certain way, in person and online, which is very similar. And I would want my woman, which is an extension of me, to do the same or or even better, increase my my visibility because women have power to do that. Feminine women have power to influence and to take a man and then push him out even further yeah and and yeah yeah us it's 100 percent correct uh now i think about anthony spade y'all probably don't know him don't know. he's Some he'd be like and he's and he's 100 percent right he's 100 percent correct here but he does reactions and every he'd be like and, and he, they're 100 percent. he needs to be a character on uh his family guy oh but, that's, how um, that's how he he just have one line yeah he's got one line he yeah. probably don't realize he do it like it's gonna rain <laughs> um Yes, yeah, there's a girl on Instagram, absolutely gorgeous, like face. Mm-hmm. She's not, she don't have the baddest body or anything, but her body's fine with me. Face is pretty. She's married, has a child, maybe one child. Uh, she's a, she's a, like a, she gives off a homemaker vibe. Okay. But like she does fashion, she's clothes and stuff, but she always covers up completely, dresses. Very beautiful, very attractive, not revealing whatsoever, super classy. You could tell, I mean, this is just the type of girl. She's very feminine. You could just tell that this girl, um, it's like, okay, who married this girl? You know what I'm saying? Like, you'd just be like, you, who married, who married know, this girl? No, she, she's married to somebody. She's married to this white dude. I though. knew it. I knew <laughs> I was going to ask you yeah. she's married to a white yeah, guy. Yeah, she's Watch. married to a white dude, yeah. Um. But so yeah, I yeah, absolutely. It's true. And 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 you know, that's just one that's just one example, but when I when I when I deal with a woman at that level, um if they don't carry themselves well, she probably won't be at that level. So, it's just that so he's right. I've I don't the women that I've dated like that's my girl or this I've been, we've been dating long term, they're they're all thorough. Can I add one more piece of that? Quickly. Sure. If you know how quickly it is, go ahead. So, uh, so last week when um, we were talking about uh, attractiveness, right? I mean, uh, romantic and sexual attraction. So I made that uh, that reel came out and I posted it on my Instagram, and um, it was actually one of my lowest interactive posts uh, on Instagram uh, because I, you know, basically was like, well, you know, ladies, do you guys know the difference between romantic attraction and sexual attraction? And only two people reached out and were one of them was like, oh my God, no, they don't know. This is a woman. And she was like, no, they don't know. And um, it, it was just, it's very interesting because someone who understands romantic attraction and how to present that, they're going to also then provide the, the, the status that a man is also going to be looking for. Um, someone who is, uh, you know, only providing then sexual attraction is actually going to, can actually lower the status of a man. Mm. So that that's also one of the that's a that's a big key uh, to this piece. So if you're looking for a man who you're trying to marry, we want you know, to marry you, not to have sex with, not to just go on dates with, and not to just go out and party and be on a boat and all that stuff, then um, 
understanding what men find romantically attractive is important. So I just think that it just adds to what he was saying. Nice. Appreciate that, Pampin. All right, we got some more from this Andrew Tate clip on pearly things. And I say this about men, but women do the same thing, right? Women love the idea of getting stays from a man. Mm -hmm. Women love the idea, and this is where it actually gets a bit messy. The waters get muddy because women love the idea of bragging about the man they're with. Mm -hmm. But they can only brag about the man they're with if other women want that man. So you're saying you love women who get cheated. Women love getting cheated on. That's not true. But (laughs) women do not like men that other women don't want. If you were to say, look, I got my man, he's perfect, he's rich, he did it, and every girl in the room would go, I would never touch him. She'd be like, oh, shit. <laughs> well, I don't want him either, then. What the fuck? But you know, can I, so I don't talk so, about that? So, but, but it's true, right? No. Women, want, women want men that, that all the women want. <laughs> I love how you cut out everybody else. No one else is the last because name. They would, I mean, it would, it would take forever. It's just about the Andrew Tate clips, yeah, man. Yeah. That's we, we only care about Top G, because yeah, they're going to say everything they're, that we already We've already heard that. So, uh, what do y'all think about him uh, expressing that? It's true. Yeah. Uh, what? I, I, I'm just, I don't have anything extra. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm <laughs> I, trying to be time conscious I mean, it's, for you. It's, since, oh, you now? Keep, since you keep making little comments. <laughs> now you will be time conscious. Go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's facts. Um, at the end of the day, you know, women, and I think Consuela or the other lady. Consuela? I, I don't know the other lady's name. Are you? <laughs> Uh, no, I think it is something like that, Connor. I don't know. Oh, but, uh, Mr. Top G. Mr. Uh, Top G. Oh, oh she her, was on yeah, her team. Yeah, his yeah. team. But um, she was going to try to rebut it, but it's true. A woman doesn't want a man that other women don't want. Correct. Meaning, not, not necessarily that women are fawning over him, because yeah. that's how Andrew put it. But it just you, you want a man that women are like, oh, you're with him? Okay. I think that's the exact gotta, same way with uh, when it comes to uh, guys too. You think so? Nah. When you it, think that I, I care whether or not you like my girl or want my girl? Eh, f- for the most part, no. But you want to have a woman that's attractive. The right? other men want? Not that necessarily that they uh, that they want, but like man, everyone can acknowledge how beautiful she li- she is. She she um. She commands a certain amount of attention when she walks through the room. You know, it's not necessarily to say, hey, look at me, I'm dressed slutty or anything. It's just like the way she carries herself, the way she, she, the way she walks. Like, even an unattractive woman who's physically just unattractive, like, on her face, but she has a nice body and she carries herself in a certain posture and she walks a certain way, that can be attractive. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, about sex appeal. You know, yeah, so... Appeals. You know, so that that's what I mean when I when I'm talking about that. I, I would I would um I would disagree with you. Um I, w- I would I would I would overall have to disagree, but there is some parts in that I do agree with. Uh I, I don't think that on the same level that women um want those men because, you know, if Chris if Chris is dating this girl, um and she's like, oh, my God, like, look at this dude that I got, da-da-da. Like, what do y'all think? Girl, mm-hmm, da-da-da, right? Like, that's a normal thing. But if we have that conversation within ourselves, we don't we don't talk like that. Like, we don't – like, I don't want you to want my girl. <laughs> you know not, what I'm saying? It's, it's not about a want, but you can acknowledge that someone's attractive. Not to say you have a desire to take her or you have a desire, but, like – we can see attractive people, male or female, just in general. Like yeah. You you know if someone's smacked or if they if they look good or not. Correct. That's it. And then like if we're going out on an outing, I don't I don't want to be the only one with the ugly girl. Like everybody. But true okay, ugly is taking it far. Yeah, it's but like you gotta think there's girls that I have even dated and and we've talked, right? And you're like, Chris, what are you doing? I'd be like, Well, I like her, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not the same because what he's basically yeah, yeah, that's what, true. I what, what he's basically saying that. is, if you're a woman and I'm a woman and I bring a dude, I'm like they, well, yeah. he's kind of ugly, girl. You think he's ugly? You know what I'm saying? It's it's different how they interact. Yeah, and th- I mean you can also see that in how women are they they follow like this bad guy gangster guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they all and after he leaves his girl, it's just the next one in line. You know what I mean? Because they just want his attention because he. Has some kind of status, right? Yeah, yeah. status. <laughs> we were to go keep... caught. 
Yeah. yeah, I've been wanting to say uh, X Y Z. <laughs> yes, I, I've been wanting. I mean, because I, 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 I hear, I'm like, that actually makes a little bit more. <laughs> Z is what most of the world says. <laughs> really? Yeah. We are so backwards. Yeah. All right, he uh, has some more. Missive women have their own mind, but this is something else you have to take into consideration, and this is super important, and super true. The reason a lot of women don't truly understand a lot of things about relationships and and how it works with men, etc., is because men will lie to you. Yeah, men that's lie. That's true. For the same reason you wear makeup, because men fall in love with what they see, <laughs> men fall in love with what they see, yeah, and women fall in love with what they hear. So we will lie to you. So you'll go on a date with a guy, and you'll sit there and say, I don't listen, and no, I'm, I'm independent, I da-da-da. And what's that man going to say? Oh, I love yeah, that. That's exactly the kind of woman I want. Come <laughs> suck this. It's a fucking lie. That is not what he wants. There, it's not what he wants. I'm telling you the but truth he wants of what now. he wants. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he can't be bothered to argue with you at dinner. Because he doesn't, because, and you know what? Most men aren't smooth enough to do it. I can sit with a chick and disagree with her and be funny enough and smart enough and charismatic enough and I'm high status enough and she respects me enough to listen. But if I'm just some normal dude and I start arguing with a chick, she's going to bounce on the dinner and say, fuck you. Yeah. See ya. So most dudes' dating strategy, most dudes' mating strategy is just pure agreement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anything to get the puss because they're fucking dorks. That's fine. That, that's that, that's the truth, right? A real G will sit there and say, what do you mean? I don't want to hear this shit. I'm telling you the baseline of how men truly function. If I'm expected to fight and die to protect you, because that's what is expected of me by society and of you. You may think you don't expect that of me, but if we're walking down through London in the middle of the night and two guys come up with machetes, you're going to hide behind me knowing I'm going to die because I can't win this fight. I'm expected to die to protect you. Well, then I expect you to agree with me. I'm not here to fucking die for somebody who disagrees with me on everything. That's not what I'm here to fucking... If I have that obligation to die on the spot for you, you have the obligation to pretend you like BMWs. So do your fucking part and shut up. And, you know, and that's the bottom line of it. And you know the difference? <laughs> and, that's and that's the, the bottom, bottom line, line of it. <laughs> <laughs> so he definitely said a lot there in that way, man. Um, so do you think that... <laughs> so, okay, the, the question I want to know the answer I want to know is, have you all ever lied to a woman? Yes. To, yes. To have her agree with you yes. and to ha end up having sex with her? Yes. <laughs> yes. Have yes. You, Chris? Have I ever lied to get sex? Think about think about Cincinnati. Don't think about Chris, Texas, Chris. Think about. <laughs> have I ever you, lied to get sex? <laughs> have you ever lied in order to have sex? I mean that's mm, no, that's a real, no, no, that's no, real. that's no. I mean that's a okay. Maybe my maybe that maybe my answer is okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be a, like a dramatic, crazy lie, but you just agree. I think that right. Ha, ha, have I have I have I gone out of my way to be agreeable with a girl to get sex? Yes. Uh, okay. Have I lied to a girl to get sex? No. Okay, there we go. That's my answer as well. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I, because I, because you I think the, that's the exact same thing. You're no, it's being not. Agreeable, no, but it's you're not. Still lying. It's not no, no, because that's, maybe it's because maybe I'm maybe I'm putting thing. no because maybe I'm putting you can what be agreeable in lie. You maybe can, but that doesn't mean maybe you're lying. I'm just simply. <laughs> that's exactly what that means. So you so you, just because you're agreeing with someone, that's not how you feel. So you're just like yeah. Yeah, you're literally lying. That's, you I don't, don't agree, but I, you're doing it anyway. I disagree with that. That is literally lying. No, it's not. True. This is the reason why we have to define things. There, there's, there's a difference between lying and then being agreeable. Because sometimes it actually is better to simply just agree to avoid conflict yes. in certain situations. Yes, that doesn't make it not a lie. I mean, I don't. I mean, I guess depending on the situation. So do so like, Mel, you're so you're of the camp that withholding information is a lie. No. Why? You didn't tell me. No, no, it's no. It's the no. same as lying. No, no. So so if I don't give you my opinion, I don't tell you my opinion on something, you're saying I'm lying. You're holding back information. That's what I just that's said. That's what you said. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you're literally just denying what is true to you. Put it put it make you're, a create a scenario. You're you're denying create a scenario. Um, I'll create a, scenario. I'll create a scenario. I'm sitting at the table, me and a girl on a date, right? Let's say we're, I'm on a, we're, I'm on a date, and uh, I'm talking about my political beliefs. This first thing that popped in my head, and I'm looking, you know, like I, you know, I believe in I'm a feminist, and I believe in women's rights. Let me and 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 on top of that, if any man that I'm going to be dating, I I'm I want him to, um, I want him to have a vasectomy. 
if if we're going to be together long term, then I'm I want him to have a vasectomy. So um, do you think, you know, some of those things are, you know, are things that, you know, you could you could do like, you know, what do you what do you think? That's asking me a life decision, a question that's not being agreeable. Well, I mean, like, I mean, you could you can that's a you, question. You know, you could have options in that scenario. We're having a conversation. So you're saying agreeable and just being pleasant. No, we're having a conversation. We're sitting I, I know that, it. but when you do, when you say agreeable, you're not tying it to something that's true. You're tying it to a feeling of, oh man, like I didn't, I didn't like what he says, but he's a, he's an agreeable, he has an agreeable personality because the information is what I'm talking about, not how you feel. Okay. Because you can feel a particular way, and that shit still be a lie, and it's wrong. Right. So wait, so you think, at this, you think at, lies are wrong. No, I'm not saying lies are wrong at, because at that's this, the difference of like uh, judging your, your okay. personal beliefs. But belief. but this is a this is a great scenario because this is what he said. He said I can be at dinner with a, a girl and she's saying something that I don't agree with and I have the ability to navigate it. I'm a G, right? So for so, instance, he 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 talks you know what? Let's let let's let Top G finish because I actually think he's he's going to tap into exactly what we're talking about. And cuz it still continues. Okay. Because the point she's making is twofold, and it's extremely important. Because a lot of women talk about being submissive, but they're submissive when it suits them. That's not submission. So she wanted to go to the concert. He said no. She trusts him as a man. She didn't go. Absolute respect for that. That's exactly what my woman would have done. Exactly the same thing. Women go, I'm submissive. You're submissive when he's buying you shit in bed, and you're submissive. But the second he says something you don't like, you instantly turn off the submission and run your fucking mouth. That's not submissive. That's manipulation. That's bullshit. So that's the first thing. The second thing is responsibility and authority are linked. With me. And if, um, as a man, if I'm going to be responsible for a woman, I need a degree of authority over her. This is the reality of it. If I'm going to be responsible for paying your bills and responsible for your personal safety and responsible for your personal development and responsible for fixing the life fitting and responsible for everything that I'm supposed to do as a man, I need a degree of authority to sometimes come along and say X, Y, Z and be obeyed. If I'm going to have a ship, if you have a ship, the reason the captain has to go down with the ship is because he is responsible for everything that happens on that ship. And because of that, he has authority. If he yells at the shipmates and they all ignore him, then he can't be considered responsible for the problems on the ship, which means he doesn't have to die with it. If you want a man invested in a relationship, he needs to be responsible for you, but he needs authority over you. And you know what? The smartest thing you can do as a woman is sit and go, you know what? Go into this concert. It's two hours. But this is going to piss him off, and it's going to be a <laughs> splinter in his mind. For years. But can I is just, this can I... really worth it? Now, I'm not saying let some man abuse you, let some man treat the shit. That I, but if you have a good man who's good to you 99% of the time and he comes along and he really cares about something, you should give him that grace and give him that, you know what, he's the man, he said it, boom, done. Because mm. if something happened to you at that concert, if, you bag, you so. if your bag was snatched, if you got fucking robbed, if someone tried to punch you, if someone grabbed you, who would you call? Okay. Help, the police. Help, help the me. police. You call your um, man. The police. The police. Um, it's still a man. Mr. Tate King, master supreme leader of everything mm, in the universe. Girl. <laughs> She's like, girl. <laughs> just, uh, just really quickly, um, point out one thing. So I saw that clip, mm -hmm. and the interesting thing is that clip ends um, after he basically says that you know you need to have he needs to have a degree of authority. Right. Right. This is why watching clips can be very uh, bad because he then goes on to to say, in it for for instance, if ninety nine percent of the time this man is good to you, da 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 da, he lets you do what you want, and then the one time he says no, don't do this, that's him asserting his authority. That's you saying, you know what? Okay, let me just let me just not do it, yeah. right? That extra little, that extra ten seconds, it is is the is the difference between watching long form content and a clip. And why some women say, well, he's a misogynist yeah. because they see that and they're like, no one has authority over me. But it's like, well, listen to the rest. Yeah. Hmm. He makes a lot of uh, logical and sound points. But a lot of women, when they listen to this, they ba go based off of emotion. And right. They don't even hear anything he say. They just say, oh, you trying to tell a woman what she should do? What you last said there? No, 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 Just like, bro, just listen. Please just listen to him. So um, what are your thoughts about? Um, women in general that you all have experienced personally, do you all think that you have, or have you all ever had a woman who would be able to listen to you on this level that will like, Hey, 
um, let's say she planned a trip to go out with her friends, going on vacation, and you just don't have a good feeling about it. And you typically have good judgment. You know, you you care about her and everything that you say is typically in her best interest. She she wants to go to this concert, planned it with her friends, and months ago you don't have a good feeling about it. And you say, hey, babe, I would really like you not to go. Do you think you would have a woman or have you ever had a woman that would listen to you in a situation like that? I've had the opposite. Very argumentative, masculine, disagreeable. Um, but there was there was there was enough good things for me to slowly continue to pursue the relationship. And, you know, I most of the time uh, I was able to navigate the, you know, the, the relationship and that portion. But then it's it's like there's just enough that just keeps coming out. And it's like, this is really annoying. And I'm not like I'm really good to you. I, I take you out. I, you know, planned a trip for us, you know, like I'm really good to you. Yeah. Um, there's no reason to fight me on this little thing. And, you know, some people, a lot of women will think, oh, it's not a big deal. It is. Especially it's like I am investing time, money, energy and my soul into you. Then, yeah, there's some things that I'm going to ask of you. And it's not fair. Most of the time you do what you want. I give you what you want. So if there's that one or two little times where I'm like, nah, we shouldn't do that. Don't fight me on it. Like, and if, if you can't do that, well, you shouldn't be with me. I think people just have a, a really bad time at understanding what a relationship is. You know, they think that absolutely everything has to go their way. Like, there has to be some given pull in some situations, you know. Like, you should <clears throat> never be with anyone who disrespects you and makes you feel less than, you know, who you are. But, you know, we also have to understand, like, there's only a certain level. There's only going to be a certain amount that we're going to tolerate. But you also have to understand that, like, we can do this together in a way that's peaceful. It doesn't have to be a it doesn't have to end in a negative situation. You know, um, what do you what do you think about it, Chris? Yes, I do have. Yes. You do have, care to explain? <laughs> you do have uh, women in your life that yeah, yes. that would stop at the drop of a hat yeah, and yeah. listen to your best yeah. interest. Yeah. I'm very I'm very particular about who I date. So I mean, have I run across the ones that Steve's talking about? Of course, Plenty. I'm not immune. No man is. But as far as who I choose to spend long term time with, invest in, yeah, 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 they listen. Because at the end of the day, um, if you don't listen to me, well, for, first of all. I think I know what I'm talking about most of the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so it's it's just not going to make sense. Like we're not it's not going to work out. Like if you're constantly you're if you're constantly challenging me like constantly. Yeah. And I've met those girls. It's it's just it's just we're never going to make it anywhere. Argumentative. Yeah, you, yeah. even you can't on a be low argument- level on everything, bro. Yeah. And and the, and the crazy thing about it is cuz I've had these interactions even recently um, it's like you're even when we do start to argue, then you find out you're wrong. You get on Google, you start fact checking and you find out you're wrong and you keep doing it anyway. It's not even about it's not even about me being right. Most of the times it's about the fact that you just want what you're saying to be the thing. Mm. Maybe in your circle, you're the smartest or whatever, which clearly you're around a lot of unintelligent people. <laughs> right. If you the smartest, you around a lot of dumb. Right. right. Which which I mean, that's not hard to do in this day and age. Real, a lot of people right. do not think and, and critically think. But so it's like it's not about what's right or wrong. It's not even about learning. It's just literally about what I say goes what. And it's like, bro. You have the wrong one. Yeah. It's not yeah. happening. Yeah. All right, let's uh, continue. It's like two more minutes of it. It's to a point where you have to sit and analyze the scenario you're in and try and realize and pick your battles. And I'm telling you, you may not realize it, but a man does a whole bunch of shit for you mm. that you don't know. He's watching the shows you want to watch. Mm. He's listening to you talk gossip about the girls at uh. work. He's fucking going, yeah, I like that dress, that dress. He doesn't give a fuck about any of it. He's doing it for you. See, that's the but the second thing, it's back the other yeah. way, nah. you have some fucking issue with He's the time. Right. It's He's bullshit. Right. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Like he, um, like you're, you're, you're just doing it. Mm-hmm. It's not a true thing. So... It's uh, that's what I would consider a lie. Yeah. So so you're saying in that scenario where men are being agreeable, baby, you like this dress, you like the, you know what I'm saying, and you're well, just you like, you don't oh. care about it. Is it a lie or is it being agreeable? Uh, it's, I think that's it's both. <laughs> you you will not separate those two. You won't. Two. <laughs> you won't. Okay. 
Uh, I, I, okay, so he's, how, oh, he's so, being agreeable. Okay, he's being agreeable, but it's, to get to get to a end result, which right. is I don't want conflict because if he tells her how he actually feels, mm-hmm. it's going to be a problem. And I'm not saying it's a good or bad. I'm not okay. even saying it's bad because oh. if it yields a positive result, so what? Okay. If, what, if, right. what, what? What if the positive result is then him getting sex at the end of the night? Hey, yeah. In same same oh, situation. You gotta do. Hold, what you gotta let, do. Let me let me <laughs> real scenario. I, I gave him a real scenario. He didn't no, no, like no, it. Real life scenario. That's I gave him. I, that was a real life scenario. I gave you. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm um, I'm at the arcade with this girl. All We're right. playing games. I'm kicking her a like just. <laughs> I'm giving her work. I mean, girls they really don't hold a can. I'm a gamer. I, I used did, to be I a gamer. Know, so I don't hold back. Right. I, get, I mean, it would I let you win. Ass. That's Disney stuff. I'm not letting you win. Oh, like so <laughs> at some point. She says, the way you beat me in these games, I don't know how I'm going to get turned on to have sex with you tonight. Wow. Ooh. I said, let's win some games. <laughs> Is that lying? That's a great, great question. That's not lying. That's, I mean, it's not being what, true to yourself. So You're holding it, back. In so what is it? It's being uh, agreeable. It's manipulation. I think it's a form of, manip- of manipulation. Wow, Mel. Don't you, you don't you don't think that's a form of manipulation? She no. She vo- She's the one manipulating. <laughs> she's telling me if you keep beating me, I'm not gonna have sex with that's you tonight. That's literally manipulation. Right. It's not manipulation on my part. So 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 she's it's ma- both manipulating. She's no. manipulating it's him to get to it. She. But, but it's both we're talking both. about his response. His response is to fall back so she can win. So, so that's can, manipulation so also. Can, it, it, it's both no, I'm getting what I want because you didn't stand your ground on what state was true to you. Mel, you stopped to do something. You know what's in true. For a do you know what's true to me? What's true to you? Some getting ass. into them viscous <laughs> innards later getting on. In them, get, getting <laughs> into them <laughs> just buns. That's what's true to me. Getting into them. Uh, them patties. I mean, I mean, uh, there there are times where you have to just take one for the team. You got to just let things kind of just, you know what I mean? Like it's like taking the big girl. Like, do you yeah. do you being a good wingman? Do you yeah. know why Andrew always gets new girlfriends? Because he's rich. No, no, he'd be pissing him off. It's because he's not agreeable at all. Yeah, yeah. He's he's pro- he pro- the way he talk. That's probably true. And so what happens is eventually and and he doesn't have to be and he's fine with it but eventually women are like even though he's top g even though he provides a lifestyle i just can't deal with it and and that's and everybody's fine he's fine they're fine he doesn't want a long term what whatever and it's okay and it is what it is i'm sure that the women that he has children with he's much more agreeable with because the other thing too that, that men i mean i think we will agree the, the, the woman, the level of the woman that we're interacting with changes how we interact. Agreed. There isn't just some standard of how we interact. The woman will adjust how we interact based on where they are. And so depending on if you see this woman as wifey, one nighty, or dating material, you treat her differently. Or don't like her. They're, I mean, the ones that I don't like, they get the rawest form of me. Because I'm like, I don't care how you, yeah, I, I, don't I don't care, care. how you feel about me. I don't care me. how you feel. I'm, I'm going to genuinely be me. It doesn't mean I'm going to be rude. Like, I'm going to just genuinely be me. I don't like you, but I don't care how you think about me. But the more that we <laughs> want and desire something. You should treat people kind regardless. It's, I did not say that I treated them bad. I said they get the raw, real form of me. You a savage, babe. That's not, you're paint. I so, hate you. So you're, you're wrong. That's not what I said. You're going to give, give him the final form. <laughs> you ain't going to warm up. You're, you're going straight final form. They're getting, they're getting final Frieza form. I got my purple on. They're getting final Frieza from the gate. You don't. There is no warm up. No there warm is up. no. Oh, okay. Well, let's just see. Right. I'm going straight to KO Ken Blue. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Goku. Okay. I, all right. I respect it. Man. I mean, not, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, is, but is that not true, though? No, no, you're right. You're right. So, so we we and I don't think that's something we consciously do. No, I think it's that, just how she makes you feel. Yeah, it's, yeah exactly. You, it's like you, everyone has a presence. Like, like there, there can be people who just have a presence, right. and you just whoo. It just makes you change the way you right. sit. You your energy, you, the the the, the environment, energy, everything. You know. So yeah, man. Yeah, that, I mean, I think that stuff is real. Uh, all right, <laughs> let's 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 finish this up. I uh, got about a minute. Ways. I'm just saying, if I was a woman and I had to make a man as attracted to me as possible, my goal would be to give that man status and make him feel good about himself. 
and I'd be very, very careful talking too much about life experiences or opposing views, not because he's out to oppress me, not because he's an evil, horrible person, but because he's trying to find somebody with a similar life view. He's trying to find somebody he can show the world to, trying to find somebody he can feel like he can teach things to. Mm -hmm. That's how you get the best out of a man. I'll tell you how I get the best out of a man. That's why I got Clementine. No, 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 but if you go into a man's room when he's playing video games, and he's playing video games, and you say, all you do is play video games, and you nag him, he'll play video games. If you walk in there and go, you know what? You're so smart. I've seen you do so many amazing things, and you've said so many amazing things. Why do you waste your time playing video games? You could show me so much. Mm. Now you're going to get him <laughs> off the fucking console. Yeah. By, it's an e I know it's an ego play. I know your old girls are like, why should I have to it's do It's manipulation. Because it tells you, should... you look pretty in the morning. It's because you win. It's because in the end, you win. You talk about why should I have to do that? Well, why should you have to work hard at the gym to get six-pack? Because you win. That's the game. Mm. If you, it's actually, men are so simple. We are so simple. And the truth is, women know it. This is what's amazing. Mm. Women pretend they're confused. You're not confused. You know. You're just egos are in the way and society's telling you something else. And you just fucking refuse to be agreeable, nice people. So, <laughs> nice. You wonder, you wonder why not this fucking problem <laughs> What he what he just ex what he just did is he just literally told women how to be feminine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's literally what he did, and it it just and a lot of times and a lot this is gonna go right over their head. Oh, it definitely did because because women's women's power, feminine power, is influence. It is being able to get the get to the same result, right? But how you do it mm -hmm. is different. It he actually was was uh like his tone. Like aggressiveness was the same. She, he didn't bring himself down when he was like, "Well, you always play that game. Why don't you do?" You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't actually change his tone, and he didn't have to do that. It was just how he said it, yeah, and it was it was thing. so it was it was that's tapping into the feminine energy, which is not just um just a, a pushover. Right. It's still powerful. It's, it's strong. Like, powerful. It's just as strong as masculinity, but it's learning how to navigate it. And once again, so many women have no idea how to truly influence, and that's where your power comes from. Yeah. They see masculine energy, and they're like, okay, that's what I should do, and they try to emulate that, and that's why they have problems. Like, and no. Then, and then you could also diffuse everything. Like, everything. Like, I've been, I've been, I have spent plenty of time with feminine women, and I get very jumpy. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of stress, a lot of stuff going on. So I'll get jumpy from time to time. I do. And a feminine woman snapped me right out of it. And Powerful. that's the power and the benefit of it. And it's like, bro, this is not this is not a lesser than thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's amazing. It's Men like, escalate, women de-escalate. Yeah, it's like realizing your role in a sense. Like, you have to understand that. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> don't say it, that. I mean, it's just like, when, like... Um, know your role. It's just like know know your know it's your like, power. Yeah. Know what you're good at and what you're not. It's like if a, no, there's nothing more sexy and seductive than a feminine man. Woman. What man? Huh? Boy. Woman. What the woman? F <laughs> Girl. What? Female. Woman. <laughs> What? I'm with you. Oh, okay. I'm saying like, he, damn. He's like, like man. I'm like, mm, no, man, boy. I'm, I'm, like, I'm man. like, why are you talking about boys and girls? I'm talking about women. You're you're wilding. <laughs> That's it. No, I'm just, Chris, you didn't. You knew what I meant. You, I saw everything. I understood it all. Okay. I'm like, am I tripping? I'm like, no. Stop it. No, I'm agree. I'm I, I'm agreeing I, with you. I thought you. it was hilarious. <laughs> I'm trying to get us canceled. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, I told y'all this was gonna be a short one. You know what I mean? Um, you know, but hope you all took. People away. got lives, okay? You know what I'm saying? Some people got right. lives. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Huh. I hope you all subscribe, share this video. We will see you beautiful people next time. This is Application Knowledge. Chris, James, Stephen, Michael. I am Animated Male. And actually last week was 50, so this is 51. 51? Stephen said that. I did, did. I did. He did. I did. He did. And he played me. I didn't play you. I'll accept your apology. <laughs> oh, here All we right. go. Well, I guess we'll find out what happens on the next, next episode. episode. <laughs> Holla!